What's going on guys? It's your boy Wolf Excator James with FWG and we are back with another episode of Maze Clay Vlog. This vlog, vlog number two. We're building a my computer. Alright, so, so I'm just gonna show off the parts real quick. So we just got a H170 D3 HP motherboard, ultra durable LG1151, because I got uh, the new processor. Core i5-6600, I decided to not go with the K version. And I didn't want to go with the K version because I don't plan on overclocking, so I don't see any point in it. I mean, I, it's, this is gonna do the job perfectly fine. That's okay. Next thing we got is EVGA's GeForce GTX 970, but instead we got the new ACX 2.0. It's supposedly 26% cooler, 36% quieter, 250% lower fan power, and 400% increased fan lifespan. And 100% awesome. And 100% awesome. Now, how true that is, I don't know, but we'll find out eventually later in life. Um, one thing I will say, though, about this motherboard, it only has one display port, one HDMI, a DVI-D, which is a normal DVI cable, and DVI-I, which is not a DVI-D cable. DVI-I just cannot use analog, so you, you have to use uh, certain monitors. You can't use older monitors. But this has to be like a newer flat panel monitor. So that's a thing for this one. Next thing we got for the processor is a Hyper 212 Evo. Um, this thing, I didn't know, actually came with a uh, stock cooler, but I didn't think it did, so I went ahead and bought this one right here. But that's okay, because this one is better anyway. This would be better for a clocked version, so if you can get this version, it's perfectly fine to use the stock cooler inside of it. It's not You're not going to be able to overheat it. But this one is just, I bought it on accident, and I'm going to go ahead and use it, because if I spent the money, why not use it, right? Exactly. So another thing we've got for the RAM is two sticks, eight gigabytes, Hyper, uh, Fury HyperX DDR4 RAM. Uh, I think it's 21, uh, 2133, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> it's faster. Faster, it's sure, whatever. Um, got a Kingston SSD, 120 gigabyte. This is just for the uh, OS and some games, like two, maybe two games. The important games. The important games. Um, and the next thing we got in this box is just my uh, HDD. Got a one terabyte Caviar Blue from WD. Um, cool fact, WD actually just bought a SanDisk, so hopefully some more stuff, the cool stuff will come out of that. Um, for the power supply, we got an EVGA 650 watt gold rating Supernova. There is a lot of, sort of a lot of bad ratings about this. The only thing I can say about this that's kind of bad is, is you know, the supernova thing that actually means something. Because if this dies, it's taking your whole computer with you. Be warned. And then for the case, we got a NZXT S340. It's, it's pretty cool. It's just a cute little fancy case. It's nothing super awesome or anything. I didn't want anything super flashy. And then we got a basic keyboard. I uh, got the Red Dragon, uh, Cor Corora, Corara, whatever. Cur, okay, we're gonna call Kerr. it Cur. We're gonna call it the Cur. Uh, it's just a flat keyboard, got some you know stick keys. It's not the one I really wanted, but it's the one we got. So what what we're about to do is we're gonna build this thing. Um, and uh, I'm gonna dub over. I'm gonna speed it up and dub some music over it. So you can watch us build it, and uh, then we'll show you both of our setups, and that'll be it. So. Uh, Let's get to it. Just a little side note about this uh, this cooler right here, the Hyper 212 Evo. Um, it is a little bit rigorous to put on there. I'm not gonna really be able to, I mean, as you see under there, there's a little back plate. It's actually not as hard as it looks, but do be careful because you don't want to stretch your board. Um, you might have to lift it up a little bit like this while putting the back plate on, so that way you don't actually bend the board. Um, and when you're doing this fan part right here, take the, here, let me flip this around for you, take the fan part off first. Before you plug anything in. Before, before you try to screw this down yeah. and fuck up your CPU and the, uh, the, whatever that stuff goes onto your CPU. Uh, the, the, uh, thermal paste. Yeah, thermal paste. Take this part off. Take the black part off. It's literally just little clips. You just pop it off. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. I promise. Yeah, okay, we, we had a little bit of pain, pain in the ass with it. But. Yeah, but take this off. It comes right back on. It's, it's nothing to it. Um, and if you can, yeah, just, just take it off, guys. It's so much easier. All right, cool. All right. Here we go again. All right, guys. 
So, uh, this took entirely way too long. Two hours. We're going on two hours. Two hours, but that's okay, because it took Cole apparently two hours to put a fucking CPU cooler in, but <laughs> this thing was still terrible. His is worse, though. Do not buy Zalman. It's actually yeah. really cool, really big, and actually really works. Just The Zalman works really, really well, but you'll spend a good solid while trying to put that bad boy on. So Just, just don't do it, okay? Yeah, just so leave it alone. You'll we'll have okay. to excuse the cable management, if you can see it. It's we'll, pretty garbage. We'll fix that later. We'll yeah. Just, yeah, it's... it's Fuck it. We're solid. But there we go, guys. We got CPU fan running. We got the GPU fan running. Like I told Cole, these fans actually don't run up here and up here. Unless it's actually hot enough really, to Really, really hot. Yeah. Um, other than that, guys, I, I think, think we're we solid. We're good. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to cut to uh, where we have it all plugged in and ready to go. So, we'll see you then. What's up, guys? Cross here, and we are in my room this time. Uh, we're going to show our setups and stuff like that, and uh, just let you know how we run things. So, you, first of all, you see my two 24-inch BenQ monitors with one millisecond response times. Uh, my Aza Poseidon keyboard that everybody is able to hear in every video I ever record. My Oz mouse that matches. Check this out, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, uh, let's change that back. Uh, then you see my Oz case. I like Oz for some reason. For, I don't know. Um, this has got a uh, GTX 960 in it, which I will eventually be upgrading that. And it's also got the i5-6600K. You can see my Transcend uh, external hard drive. Got my PS4 right here. Uh, to record all my PS4 related stuff and I accidentally just turned that on. Let's turn that off now. We'll turn that off in a minute. Uh, my Blue Yeti microphone that is on at the moment and my uh, surround sound system. Bass Pulse surround sound system. These are really nice. I like these a lot. And uh, these are two separate monitors that you know display two separate things and then these two, the TV and the right monitor, actually uh, mirror each other so whenever I'm rendering or playing a game on, or something like that on this monitor it will show on this TV so that's about it uh, I think that's everything and uh, we're gonna go check out James's right now so uh, let's see what's going on hey bud All right, kids, so you'll have to excuse the mess that we got going on here. Uh, I'm married, so it's, come on. All right, so first off first, we got these nice Astro A50s wireless headset. Uh, I actually would not recommend these anymore. They are good, don't get me wrong, but I get the new Turtle Beaches. Those are a lot better, actually. Behind here, we've got the Netgear Nighthawk X4 router. It's also a really boss thing, and just while we're back here, we're gonna go and also look at the Black Widow or yeah, Black Widow Black Ultimate uh, speakers. The one like twenty bucks at Walmart. Pretty good stuff. Right here we've got the ergonomic chair. They're having to sell at Office Depot. I'm not sure if they are anymore, but it's still pretty good. And then while we're here looking at this, we've got a 19-inch Asus monitor. I'm not sure of the whole specifications on it. It's just a cheap little monitor. It's nothing special. Right here we've got a BenQ. Uh, monitor it's two millisecond response times like forty dollars cheaper than Cole's but you know still pretty good to go we've got the Red Dragon Carrara uh, keyboard it changes colors as you can tell I like green though because I'm obviously using a Razer Naga which I kind of wish I would have went with the Black Widow Ultimate now but this is good too because this actually feels pretty good and similar down here we've got all my connections with my GE uh, power, I mean power strip, which is, this is really cool because it's got a grounder so if your stuff goes out It's gonna try to catch it before anything else does Right here. We've got the a50 transmitter I don't have it plugged in right now because I'm not using my headphones and right now I mean right here. We've got the two terabyte WD my passport another special feature WD actually just bought um, SanDisk new feature, so I'm really hoping they drop out some new like m.2 slots and stuff like that It's gonna be really cool for the computers Right here we've got my tower with my computer. I've got a 970 in here with a 6600. Like I said on the other video, I decided not to go with a K, mainly because I'm not going to be doing overclocking and I don't really care about that kind of feature. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. That's what we're going to do for this feature vlog. Let's get everybody in this.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. We really hope you enjoyed this video, just showing off our setups and stuff. Uh, and we will see you again next time. Bye. Bye.